What is going on folks? Good morning. How are you doing today? We are here with uh, one of your favorites, Lojo Fishing. Load so guys, the cooler up. <laughs> load that cooler the cooler up, up for the fishing trip, guys. It's really early. I'm extremely tired, but we are here at Walmart. Where else will we be, honestly? So today I'm going in and buying all of the cheapest lures I can find in Walmart. So everything like in the dollar range, maybe a little bit under, and then we're gonna go catch fish on them. The comment of the day is popping up, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell and leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be in next video's comment of the day. But enough talking, let's go inside and go find some lures and I'm also extremely hungry. It's really early in the morning and I haven't had breakfast yet. So the quicker we get these lures, the quicker I can go eat breakfast. So let's go. Oh my guys. Alrighty, folks, we have made it to the fishing section with Lojo. Lojo gets to fish with expensive lures today. Oh. Totally not fair. The most expensive <laughs> lure in Walmart, you would have never guessed it. Show them really quick. It's $8, first of all, guys, but check that thing out. What is that? Look at it. It's like a real crawfish with hooks on it. I mean, I. I don't even I would have thought like a like a topwater frog or a big swim bait would have been the most expensive. True. But a weird craw is the most expensive. For $8. So, and that's $8. a cool $8. idea. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. Lojo's doing it, so I'll link it down below for that video. But that's a cool idea because normally people go to Walmart and they look for the cheapest stuff. But Lojo is literally fishing with the most expensive lure. That's but right. Today we are fishing with all of the cheapest lures in Walmart. I've never been to this one before. This is like Lojo's Walmart. This is my Walmart. We're, we're up in his neck of the woods. So <laughs> everybody knows in Walmart, there is this little bin with $1 spinner baits and buzz baits. And I'm not going to try to buy a buzz bait today, but I will buy this black spinner bait because the water at the pond that we're fishing is extremely dirty. So I'm going to go with that darker color. We got to find a few more lures. Yeah, you need Lojo. one more. You need at least one more okay, cheap so, lure. So these are like 170 for the lipless crankbaits, but for one. 47 there's like a couple poppers left do you think a popper would work yeah it might work it i mean might, you, can't, you, <laughs> you sound too confident you, about that you now. can't go wrong with top water it's just so hot right now yeah and these bass they just they're not that accurate well 147 is like one of the cheapest lures i'm seeing so i'm gonna have to buy it and just give it a try oh uh, what else do we have oh my gosh should i do this look at this <laughs> look at this Oh my. A spinner worm? You should absolutely do that. <laughs> you should absolutely oh, do no. that. Oh no, I never thought I would see the day where I threw this contraption. That's pretty crazy looking, well, man. Oh, oh my gosh, look at, look at this, for 142 down here. Look, it's a spinning lizard. That is sick. You've got to use okay. that. Okay, yeah, that is that is that. a must for 142. Yeah. And you get a lizard with like two hooks and I don't, I don't even know what's going on there. We're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to do an unboxing. Lojo, you see anything else, man, that we can do? You were you're putting out some like yeah, there's some, some dollar twenty two little fixed hook swim baits right here that look pretty juicy, pretty realistic too. These look pretty good for 122 yeah. and it comes with two. So basically they're like 61 cents a piece. Right. Should we go with this color or should we go with the white color? Straight up white, man. White, yep. okay. Like a little shad. They're a shad that size in this lake, I mean, for sure. All right. They're coughing them up all the time. All right, folks, we got the lures. It is bright outside and that means it is breakfast time. So. Lojo and I are gonna go eat some food, dude. What are you, what are you thinking? He said that there's like some good, I don't know, like some chicken stuff or, I don't <laughs> know, is there, like, is there like chicken biscuits? I don't know why I want a chicken biscuit right now. Guys, if you live anywhere in the south or in the country, you know that there's little gas stations that just have random restaurants inside them with a couple old women in the back. Is that the plan? Yeah, that's oh, the plan. Oh yes, I am, food, I'm too. down guys, let's go. What'd you get, Lojo? You got like the breakfast casserole? Oh, breakfast casserole. And just like that, we're at the pond. So I have all the lures right here. I'm actually gonna give these away to you guys. I know I'm so nice. I'm giving you guys the cheapest lures you can literally <laughs> buy. But stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can enter to win uh, all these awesome lures. By the way, they are the black spinner bait, this little swim bait that I already opened to take the thumbnail. We also have a top water popper and this crazy lizard. I don't even know what the heck this is, but it's gonna catch 
Lojo! <laughs> Lojo shut the door and my, oh, <laughs> my camera fell down. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're like back here on the kayaks. Hopefully we don't have to take these out today. We're gonna start bank fishing. I'm gonna tie something on. Like, this pond's looking juicy. Let's get started. It is the next day. Lojo and I went fishing for like five or six hours yesterday and it was bad, like really bad. It was super hot out. I chose like the worst day to drive up to Alabama and Lojo had one bite, I had zero bites. And like the five or six hours, we were throwing them in such good places too. The fish just were not participating. So today we are here at a pond. I have all of the Walmart lures, the cheapest lures in Walmart and we're gonna try fishing with them. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start out with this little white swim bait. This thing was like actually 60 cents because it came in a pack of two. And I see a few bait fish kind of jumping around like right over there, right there. Oh my gosh, this thing should get munched like extremely quick. But if not, we're gonna keep on walking and throw this thing until we end up getting a bite. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Yes, okay guys, fish number one, fish number one on the little swim bait. Oh, it's a decent one. Okay, there we go, there we go. A lot of little bait fish hang out over here, so I knew as soon as I threw this thing, I'd end up catching one. Yes, that's not a bad little fish right there, guys. Look at how he ate that swim bait. Absolutely nailed it. Add me on the Snapchat, folks, at Fishing with Norm, so you guys can see these fish before the video is even released. I'm gonna go ahead, let her go. Boom, okay, I'm gonna try like two more casts on this little white swim bait, but we gotta switch it up. I think I'm gonna throw that crazy lizard next. Maybe the spinner bait, I don't know. All right, time to tie this thing off. What are we gonna tie on next? Hmm, I do not know. I think I'm gonna try the spinner bait, guys. I don't know. The water here is really dirty as well, and in darker water, you wanna throw those darker colored baits, so that's why I think I'm gonna try throwing the spinner bait next. Ow! Let's go ahead and tie this thing on. I'm not throwing a trailer or a trailer hook on this spinner bait just to keep it true to the one dollar challenge. And honestly, guys, this spinner bait is pretty crusty. I've used this once before in a different one dollar spinner bait challenge. I'll link that video down below. And it was so bad. These skirts on this thing is like they don't stay on after one fish catch. This one's about to fall off. I know I was making fun of this spinner bait before, but it does have a really good action in the water. It's just once you have a fish that bites it, it's like game over because it just ruins the whole Oh, we got one. It just, ru oh, that's a nicer fish, guys. That's a decent fish, I think. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a bigger one. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get him up here. We're all the way up on this rock wall. That's a, oh my gosh, that's a gooder, that's a gooder fish. English, please don't shake it off. All right, uh, um, no, no, no. Oh shoot guys, this is a bigger fish. Okay, we're gonna bring him around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please, please, for the love of God, don't get off. This is like a four pounder. Okay, we're gonna walk him all the way to where I can come grab him right down here. Okay, come here guy. Oh, my phone just about fell in the water. Oh, snap. <laughs> Look at that on the $1 black spinner bait oh my gosh oh wow that is a big fish my big camera's all the way over there but here's a good little view of the fish on the gopro so we're gonna go ahead let this girl go we're gonna name her splashy oh my gosh all right thank you splashy thank you that was a nice fish guys now we gotta figure out if we're gonna tie on that weird spinning worm combo and what else do we have left oh yeah we have a popper a really cheap popper i don't know We'll figure it out. All right, bait three out of four is gonna be this $1 popper. I'm actually kind of digging the paint job on this. It also has like a really cool feather on the back tail, which uh, I think increases the amount of fish that will come up and hit it. We're gonna fish this little bank here. I feel like a lot of big bass push little bait fish up onto this bank. And also I love throwing top water around docks. So there's a dock over there that we're probably gonna end up trying as well. Oh, look at that, that actually casts pretty far. The only downside though about throwing this popper right now is that I have fluorocarbon on my reel. For those of you guys who don't know, fluorocarbon does sink. So if you're ever throwing a topwater frog, oh, oh my gosh. So if you're ever, oh, that's another, I, that was my first cast on the popper, guys. We gotta go, we're gonna have to run all the way down here. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right at the bank. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, stay on, stay on. That's a good fish again. Look at this. He can't even move because I have both my treble hooks in him. Oh my gosh. Woo! Guys, look at this fish. 
That one might even be bigger. Maybe not, but that is a really thick, healthy fish. He ended up hooking himself. A really good trick, guys, when you are dealing with treble hooks and you don't have pliers, you don't want the fish to move, is if you just grab him right behind the gills right here, this will make sure that he cannot move. And then you can deal completely with getting these treble hooks out. And just like that, guys, we can get the hook out and we can let this big fish go to grow and become bigger for a another day guys look at that beautiful fish on the top water there she goes all right so first cast on the popper uh that was a lot quicker than i was expecting and he held up well i actually kind of like the action on this what i was trying to tell you guys before that fish interrupted me was that with fluorocarbon if you guys ever realize that your popper will pop for the first few pops and then after that it starts going underwater i can guarantee you that's because you're throwing fluorocarbon line normally when i throw a popper i love to throw with monofilament because it floats that'll keep the popper on top of the water unlike the fluorocarbon when you pull it and the line's sinking in the water it's going to pull that popper down kind of if that makes any sense also braid floats but i don't like to use that with any top water with treble hooks because you can kind of pull those treble hooks out of the fish's mouth if you set the hook too hard i do like using braid for top water frogs stuff like that but when it comes to a popper like this monofilament is definitely the move Come on, if I get one lizard fish, I'm good. <gasps> oh, I got him, the lizard fish. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at how he ate the spinning lizard. What the absolute heck, what the heck is going on? I honestly do not even know how I caught this fish. I'd love to give you guys a helpful tip. It was probably the smallest one of the day. I think I was just reeling it. Maybe I was, heck if I know. <laughs> so as you guys can see we're releasing that guy in a little drainage ditch a very helpful tip i feel like is when you are fishing ponds fish locations where there's a high probability of catching fish aka a drainage ditch where water comes in and out of little ponds like this is where a lot of these bass are going to be sitting because food whenever it rains kind of comes through here whether it's frogs lizards whatever gets washed up and bass love to hang out right in these so they can invade their prey boom and just like that we are done with the challenge i'm gonna keep on throwing this thing i don't have any more lizards but this is like a reusable rig so i guess if you ever want to throw a spinning whatever the heck this is you can just keep on putting different lizards on here and you'll be good to go i still i'm still astounded that that just happened guys <gasps> i got another one on the spinning lizard oh <laughs> I still, I don't know. Look at that. Big and small, they love this. Dude, this thing is, has energy. Dog. Quick release. <laughs> that one had an energy drink or something. You guys see that? That one drank like six Red Bulls. That is gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna win all of these baits that I used today, all you have to do is leave a like and leave a comment down below on this video, letting me know what your favorite like cheap lure to use is. Like what's your go-to budget lure? But besides that guys, we caught a ton of awesome fish today on some of the cheapest lures you can find. So I thought that was absolutely awesome. I had a blast filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, but we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And until the next fishing adventure, guys, fish bump, I'm out of here.